In this video, I've gathered noteworthy Skyrim mods from Nexus and other communities that have gained attention. While I aimed to cover a variety of categories, it seems that there were predominantly visual, animation, and outfit mods. I firmly believe that if you can find even one mod that proves helpful to you through this video, then my efforts will have been a success. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. First up, we have True Blood Serana. This mod, created by the renowned author of the Serana dialogue add-on, Martimius, overhauls Serana's appearance to closely match the widely imagined image of her. It offers a range of options through FOMOD, allowing you to decide if you want to enable expressive facial animation and even choose between the vampire and human versions of Serana. Personally, I found the human version, with the green eyes, quite appealing. There are various selections for hairstyles, hair colors, body types, and more, each meticulously captured in the thumbnails by the creator. In my opinion, it encapsulates the popular image of Serana exceptionally well. When used in conjunction with the Serana dialogue add-on, this mod can greatly enhance your immersion in the storyline. Next up, we have Better Flame Spell FX. This mod enhances the visual effects of flame spells, making them more beautiful and realistic. The flames now shoot out in a vivid, straight-line form, reminiscent of Igni from The Witcher 3. If you find this kind of effect appealing, giving it a try would be worthwhile. Also, I found the SC Argonia's Deer Replacer mod on Nexus. This mod replaces Skyrim's default deer with those native to the Argonian swamps. It gives them a look reminiscent of marshland herbivores, like moose. If you're interested in giving a different look to the regular deer in the game, trying out this mod might be a good idea. Furthermore, there's also JS's Embalming Tools retexture available. This mod completely redesigns the funeral tools scattered in dungeons, it offers new meshes and textures for items like scissors, forceps, scalpel, and more. The scissors even have joints for movement. There's no ESP file, and you can choose from 1K, 2K, or 4K versions. Next, let's talk about animations. There are a few noteworthy mods in this category. First up, we have Dynamic Kill Move, Pike. This mod adds smooth move set exclusive pike kill moves. It's designed to seamlessly integrate to smooth pike idle motion with kill moves. For those who find it inconvenient that greatsword kill moves always play when using smooth move set with a pike, trying out this kill move might be a good idea. Additionally, there's also the greatsword's kill move animation. Created by Black, it draws inspiration from For Honor and Valhalla. If you're not a fan of the vanilla kill moves for greatswords, which can sometimes feel like swinging a club, this mod provides an alternative that you might find more appealing. Next up, we have Bruce Lee Unarmed Fighting MCO Moveset. It's an implementation of Bruce Lee's combat motions for fighters in Skyrim. The movements are agile and refined, effectively capturing Bruce Lee's distinctive kicks and punches as seen in movies. When I tried it out, the motion was swift and the overall experience was quite satisfactory. The only minor drawback was that there was no accompanying sound for the attacks, which was a bit disappointing. However, considering it's a truly excellent combat move set, it should be more than sufficient for you to use. Next up is the Random Idols All-in-One. It's an OAR animation mod that triggers a total of 24 different idols randomly for both players and NPCs. Because it activates such a diverse range of idols, there's never a dull moment during waiting motions. It combines all individual idol animations into one concept, allowing you to install all 24 at once for convenience. Additionally, since it operates with the OAR system, toggling each one on and off is also easy, making it a mode that I believe you will find very pleasing. 
Next, I'd like to introduce a few noteworthy outfits that have gained attention recently. First up is the L, Abyss outfit. This mod adds a feminine dress to Skyrim. The flowing fabric from the shoulders to the chest, combined with the metallic waist accessory, is exceptionally beautiful. The long dress below enhances the overall character's body line while exuding a sense of elegance. It comes in white, black, blue, and red, allowing you to choose the color that suits you, and it also features applied physics effects. Next up is the Ryan Rios Battle Bunny Akali. This mod adds Akali's outfit and weapons from League of Legends. Specifically, it transforms Akali's attire into a sexy bodysuit adorned with rabbit ears and a tail. Additionally, it includes Akali's weapons, both the kunai and the sickle. Overall, it effectively combines a sexy appeal with an added touch of cuteness, thanks to the bunny ears and tail. If you've been intrigued by Akali's character concept, trying out this mod is highly recommended. Next up is Garuda Bee's Dwarf White Day outfit. This attire adds a cute cat-themed feel. The dress features ribbon droplets around the neckline and a cat accessory on the waist, enhancing its cuteness. With cat ears and cat-shaped punch gloves, this outfit maximizes the adorable factor. You can choose between black, orange, and pink versions to wear, and it supports body slide. I used CBBE but I'm not sure about compatibility with other body types. Regardless, if you're fond of this style, I recommend giving it a try. Finally, we have a gameplay-related mod. Personally, I find one mod quite intriguing. It's called Skyrim Drop Effect Sound System. This mod uses SPID and FLM to play effects and sounds when defeating enemies. The effects are quite spectacular, it's like experiencing the excitement of winning the lottery in an instant, or recalling the spicy taste of Dragon King's hot dishes from childhood. The visually stunning effects really caught my attention. I even think it would be great if, aside from items, there was an option to randomly drop 1,000 septums based on probability. Depending on how the player customizes the INI, this mod could potentially become quite impressive. That's why I wanted to introduce it. I've introduced a variety of mods like this. I would be really pleased if you find any that you enjoy using. If you have any additional information or questions, please leave them in the comments. Also, subscribing and liking the video greatly supports the creator, and donations through Patreon are a big help in video production. Thank you. I'll see you again in the next video.